Aloha, everybody. Rad Dad Cooks here. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be whipping up a mainstay of just about any picnic food on the Pacific Rim. I'm talking Hawaiian style macaroni salad. I never really had this until I moved out west. But man, it is an awesome, simple twist on a classic American dish. You want to use corkscrew pasta for this. That's kind of like the tradish. We want to cook it super al dente. So we got 11 minutes for al dente on the box. We're only going to cook it eight. And that's because when we get done cooking the pasta, we're not going to shock it in cold water to stop the cooking like we normally would. That way our warm pasta will continue to cook and then it'll absorb those seasonings we added to it, making it very flavorful. They say that Hawaiian macaroni salad came about as an affordable thing to make for lunch for the working class in Hawaii. Not sure if that's the real story, but hey, I'll roll with it. We're gonna drain our pasta. Remember, we're not gonna cool it. We're gonna put a little inside the bowl. Then we're gonna start adding our seasoning. The seasoning is gonna be apple cider vinegar and this uh, Aji Marin. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm Rad Dad Cooks, not a linguist. It's a really good Japanese style rice seasoning mix. All right, well, let's measure it up. We're going two tablespoons of the rice seasoning, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, also two teaspoons of sugar. Put a little pasta in the bowl, pour a little seasoning, a little more pasta, a little more seasoning, you know the deal. This is a real good technique to make sure you get even coating on your pasta. All right, we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'll measure up our other ingredients two cups of shredded carrots, and some mayo. Mayo's really up to you, depending on how big of a mayo fan you are. But anywhere between 416 grams and 520 grams is gonna get it, which is roughly two to two and a half cups. I like to do the measuring on a scale. A little bit easier than getting that mayo in and out of a cup. Mix it all up. Don't forget to swing by and season it to taste with a little bit of salt and pepper. I also sometimes like to throw a little soy sauce and sriracha in here, but we're going basic B style, so that way we can bring it to the picnic and everyone can enjoy it. Throw it into a plastic container with a snap-on lid, you can put that in the fridge for about 48 hours. I doubt it's gonna last that long. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope I turned you on to a new version of that plain Jane macaroni salad that you've been making for the last X amount of years at every little barbecue you go to. Has anybody out there made this before? What do you do different? I know some recipes had milk to thin it out, but I don't like it when it's all watery. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you next time.